Greetings. Welcome to the Kentucky Virtual Library training video on Britannica School for High Schools. I'll start at kyvl.org and choose four K-12 students on the blue-orange bar and then choose high. I'll scroll down a little and choose Britannica School High. My search term today is Civil Rights Movement, and I have a recommended article of Civil Rights Movement in the United States. I have images and videos that I can look at. quite a few here and I have related topics that I can look at so these are key people and possibly events related to the civil rights movement in the US back to the article primary sources and ebooks if they exist these are Various documents uh, could be speeches, could be presidential addresses, that sort of thing, uh, that have been attached by the Britannica editors. And the web's best bets. These are websites reviewed by the Britannica editors, and you can follow these to get more information on a person or the topic. And you can trust the website that you go to. Back to the article. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that we have one, two, three. These are the reading levels. Level three is the high school level. Level two is the middle school level. So if this is just a little too long, a little too complicated, you can toggle down to level two to get something a little simpler. Let's go back up to level three. Now I can do several things with my content. Here under send to this arrow, I can favorite this, I can email it to myself or somebody else, or I can add it to a Google Classroom. And that is something that's new. I can print this. If I click the citation link, I can choose the citation format and copy and paste this into a Google Doc or an email or a Word Doc. And it also includes the persistent URL or permalink to this article. I can translate the page. Let's choose Croatian. And here it translates everything, including the navigation and the tab. So it does a full translation of the interface. Let's go back to English. And then I can also plus or minus the content. So if I'm on a tablet or a phone, I can increase the font size without everything else changing as well. Blue phrases or words are links off to, an, to other encyclopedia entries within Britannica School. And then I could, if I don't have Google Classroom, I can sign into my Britannica. I can sign in with my Google account or with my Britannica ID and password. This is a personal login to Britannica. If I don't have an account, I can create one. If I'm an educator, I choose the educator option or the student option. The difference is the educator option. Let me log in. Educator option gives you an opportunity to favorite content. So I'm going to send this to my favorites. I'm going to put it under 
KDLA, and now it's there. And if I go to my content, this is everything that I've favorited. Now I haven't been as good about organizing my content as I might, but I certainly can do that. I can also create a lesson plan. Or there might be one already where I already have one that I can open up and edit. So I might decide to take this up to the high school level and then add in appropriate materials at the level three uh, for reading level. I can add additional content. I can take things out. So again, if you don't have Google Classroom, Britannica, My Britannica is a great way to create favorites, create folders, and create lesson plans. Back on Britannica School High page, if I just wanted biographies, I could browse through the biographies. I can select an era. I can choose a country or association. I can clear the filters. I can also do a search. So if I'm looking for Justin Trudeau, I can just do a search. Back on the high school page, there is a world atlas that I can use that will give me information and country profiles that are very brief. I can get a few details, a profile, or I can go to related, which will take me to encyclopedia entries uh, on related topics or people. And tour the USA, I can get state profiles and summary information about a state and also get links to related results. There's on this day carousel that gives you a highlight for a particular day. So yesterday, uh, we have Washington says goodbye. Oops. All right, back to the high school page. There's also uh, primary sources within Britannica School. So I can browse the list or I can do a search. So here's the Declaration of Independence. One last thing about Britannica School, there is a link to a Spanish language version. So if you need it, it's there and it links to Britannica Moderna. If you need us for anything, if you come to kyvl.org and go to the question mark, at, you can submit a ticket to our help desk system. You can send us a text message. And then if we're available, chat will also be available during the day if we're online. So just let us know if you need help or have questions, anything that you need, let us know. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.